Hello everyone, so today I'll be taking a look at some Mana Mobile Antivirus, so let's take a look at it. Now right off the bat it says your device needs to be scanned, and as far as I can tell this is pretty simplistic. Good for the novice user, we'll see how it actually performs in a test. But we have web protection and real-time protection, which is turned off by default, so I'm going to leave those alone. And we have our scan status, which is never scanned, because of course I just installed this a few minutes ago. And last update is today. Now unless, unless the databases have been updated within the past few minutes, then this should still be up to date. And we have our fast scan and full scan options. And it looks like there's a premium version. Yep, I wouldn't be able to enable real time protection anyway. And keep your private data private. Automatic updates. And then 24 7 technical support. Let's go back. And we have whitelist. Now this ignores detected items or apps. And we have settings right here. We have our web protection, which is free. Kind of a good thing, I guess. We have an anti-key logger, cool. We have real-time protection and we have mobile data. Use mobile data when Wi-Fi is not available. We have notifications change your notification settings so I guess you can change all this we have license enter your license key here I don't have a license key so I'm going to leave that alone and about now we are using Zamana mobile antivirus 1.8.6 and the virus database version is 323 now let me show you what I have today in terms of threats. Now I've added three new threats, including the recently discovered file code or ransomware for Android. And I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this right here. So I'm just going to leave it alone. And we should have 106 items. Yes, 106 items. Now, let me go back here, and I will initiate a scan with the mana, and I'll be right back when it's done. Alright, I'm back, and the mana has detected 59 threats. So I will go ahead and remove all of these. Nice to see a delete all button. Not all anti-malware products for Android have that, and it can be a tedious task to click remove on each of the threats. So that's good to see. Let's see what kind of detection rate we have. It looks like... Okay, just refreshed. So it looks like we have 47 files left. So this is not great, but seeing how Zamana is relatively new to the mobile antivirus markets, I guess this can be forgiven somewhat. Now, would I recommend this? Not right now. Maybe once Zamana gets a better detection rate, then maybe I can recommend it. But even then, it's lacking some features in there behind a paywall, like the real-time protection and some free antivirus products for Android have real-time protection for free. But Samantha has to make money somehow, so that can be forgiven. And I believe Malwarebytes only has real-time protection for a short time before you have to pay, so... I guess it's not too much of a concern. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this test. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.